Aquarius, how are you doing? This is going to be an astro flower reading for the week of the 21st through to the 28th. We're going to be going into the equinox. So uh, the springtime in the north, uh, autumn in the south, the southern hemisphere. Uh, I will be doing a spring or spring reading um, according to the astro flower. So that's going to be a three monthly reading this week. And uh, you will then see uh, what's coming up for you over the next sort of three months. Um, and that will be coming out this week. So don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, and you'll get all notifications for future videos. So let's just see what's going on with you, Aquarius. On the right-hand side here, we're going to be looking at the spiritual side of life. Uh, on the left-hand side, we're going to be looking at the uh, material side of life. And... Um, yeah, see how the see what your karmic path is. See how the the universe is trying to influence you upon that karmic path, and uh, see what. And we're going to be doing a clarification at the end. We're not going to be splitting this into two videos like we did in the past. This is only going to be on one video. So if you want clarification on all of these cards, please stay with us right to the end. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And the belt, so then you can get notifications for anything coming up in the near future. You know, because we're going to be doing readings on the world. We're going to be doing split readings uh, as well between me and Tanya. So that should be interesting. We're just going to mess it up and play around. So, yeah, there seems to be... Um, the outside world doesn't seem to be you know, sort of coming to be in line with what's inside you. So this side here is the spiritual side. This side here is the material side. These are your karmic paths. These are how your guys try and influence your karmic paths. This is how your guys try and influence your the conversation that is within you. This is how the universe is trying to influence those both sides. And this is how it all sort of goes together. And this is what you're living at the moment. Um, so let's just take uh, the material side of life. This is on this side here. Um, okay, this is to do with jobs and this is to do with, um, uh, this is to do with jobs, this is to do with your business, this is to do with your acquisitions, this is to do with your house, this is to do with your car, everything like that, anything in the material world, basically. And the universe is sort of trying to encourage you to enjoy that side of life, to uh, invest in things that actually make you a lot happier. And that's all about the new paradigm. That's what the new paradigm is all about. You have to step into your power, as it were, in regards to, no, I'm not going to work like this. Uh, okay, so we can change the world on our individual steps. I'm not saying lose your job, but certainly to um, sort of say, uh, you know, this is not the way we work because on your karmic path, you've got to sit in your power with that seven of wands. Sit in a position where you're a little bit protected from the outside world, knowing who you are, knowing what you do. And the idea that the universe is trying to sort of say that it should be fun. Look, on this side here, we've got this is what the universe is trying to influence that karmic path. So sitting in your power, knowing your power. And people are going to want to take you down. You can see that with that one wand that one one trying to break the bubble there. So it's a case of being sure about yourself, knowing your worth and sitting in your power. And the universe is with that 10 of cups is trying to make it exciting or trying to make it a pleasure to work, basically, to enjoy your life. If you're not enjoying your job, then maybe you should either speak to, um, the, you know, speak to uh, your, your, the company that you're working for, or you might want to literally change jobs. If it's your own business, maybe it's a case of just playing with your business a little bit, trying to invent things or do things completely differently, etc. So, you know, um, it'll be it'll be good for you to realise that you know the amount of time you spend at work should be fun. So then, therefore, that after that you got your guides with the six of six of pentacles, who are trying to encourage that sort of fair exchange between you and your work. And then above that, in that mental sort of side of that conversation that we have within us, you have the King of Pentacles. So 
not only are we going from the, queen, the, the Ten of Cups, pure bliss, uh, happiness, uh, and the environment of everything that is around you, to knowing your worth. And that has to be that fair exchange. So if you're not getting that fair exchange this week, I would certainly have a word with some people. Know your worth. You are worth a lot more than you think, uh, Aquarius. Okay? Because inside you, and this is what you might feel about the world at the moment, or what you might feel inside, you might be feeling a little bit trapped, a little bit um, penned in, tied up. Yeah, that's what might you might feel inside you. I think that's more on the spiritual front than on the physical front, but there's definitely the two are connected. On the spiritual side of things, um, excuse me, I just need to uh, make sure I do that. On the spiritual side of things, uh, it's a little bit different uh, to your to your material side. The universe is trying to bring in with that seven of uh, with that knight of swords. So it's a page, page of swords. Uh, that learning aspect about life, uh, having ideas, uh, exploring, experimenting uh, with your love, with your spiritual situation. But as you do, make the decisions quite quickly of what you should be putting your, your time and effort into. Because you might have a lot of choices and that's what the universe is, that's what your guides are trying to sort of um, elucidate for you. You might have a lot of choices on your, on, your, on your plate at the moment and investing your time and love and in your emotions into relationships, into things like that, will not necessarily be the best thing. Sorry, I've just dropped some cards. I do apologise. Let me just grab them. Yeah, so... Um, your your task this week, if there is a task in life, your task this week or your karmic path this week is differentiating between what you need to put your in your invest your time and money or your time and love and emotions into, um, and realize that there is not actually really any choices uh, in life. There's plenty of possibilities, yeah, sure, but eventually there's only one. Like on this seven of swords. Uh, uh card there's only one that's actually producing the emotional water the rest of it is all sort of snakes and ladders really a bit political so a lot of choices are political and you know a choice is is only there to sell you a religion or uh, a political point of view that's all in there in, in life itself there is no choices it's just an evident path that you should be following and in within that conversation that's within you you're, you're, you're bringing that learning from that page of, uh, page of swords and you're putting it with that learning of the page of pentacles, putting it into concrete uh, action, basically, in your life. But the main crux of it is being uh, clear about what you're going to invest your time and money or time and emotions into. Okay? So... <clears throat> the overall thing that seems to be happening, and there seems to be things moving along, is that Nine of Cups. You can be that Nine of Cups. You can be that um, that offering that the universe gives to the rest of the world. You could be that 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 um, joy that that is a little bit of the universe that comes out. So um, let's just do a bit of clarification here, and let's sort of. We're going to start connecting on this side. So let's start connecting the um, uh, the page of swords. So it is about a relationship. So it might be a case of where you're going to have to uh, sort of mix it up a bit. You know, experiment in your relationship. You know, go if you haven't been to a restaurant in a long time, go to a restaurant. Take your partner out. And this isn't gender specific, ladies. Don't wait for the gentleman to say, look, do you want to come out for a meal? That's old stuff. <laughs> Get over it. You, you know, women can, as much as males can turn around and sort of say, 
Do you want to go to the cinema? Ask someone out. It doesn't matter. If gender doesn't matter anymore, then you can do everything. We can do what the other sex can do. If you're female, you can do everything that the male did. So you can buy the meal. <laughs> you can open the doors. You know, that's traditional sort of things. But the males can also, you know, you can even bring in flowers on the date. Wow. I wonder if there's a woman who's ever bought flowers for a bloke on a date. That'd be quite nice. I'd like that. You know. And the bloke can be, you know, he can dress up nice. I'm getting really sexist, am I? Right, okay. I don't want to trigger anyone. You know, I'm just sort of saying that if there is no gender, then, you know, that's fine. That's really cool. I like that idea. And everybody can do what everybody else is doing. So just mix it up. Regardless of, uh, you know, what life's all about, just mix it up. Get in there. Get in there. It'll be fun. Oh, conflict. So there's inner conflict within you at the moment, Aquarius. Yeah, a little bit worried about putting yourself out there, are you? I wouldn't be. You're worried about the choices? Should I, should I, I? Should I, shouldn't I? Let's just tie these two together, see what's going on there. Well, the Emperor comes in, so being sure about it. I think that, that five of swords is definitely inner conflict within you more than anything else. Connecting, ah, connecting the seven of um, cups to the page of pentacles is the king of swords. Total clarity. Rules, regulations, um, getting things completely clear and sticking by um, parameters that you put down that you can see clearly in front of you. If you want, if you want this relationships to work, then therefore you have to have healthy boundaries, even within the relationship. And once you get those healthy boundaries, you can just jump in and enjoy and bathe in the beauty of your partner. Okay? So, um, you know, get into the idea of, of, of exploring yourself and exploring your partner. Yeah. You're going to get things wrong. We all get things wrong. Who doesn't get things wrong? And if your partner can't, if your partner can't sort of accept that, if your partner can't kind of go, I tried, got it wrong, but they tried. You know, they're going to, that's maybe a boundary that you need to sort out. <laughs> maybe, who knows? So let's, um, let's go on the spiritual front. So basically it's a case of mixing it up and getting out there and exploring. Let's see what's going on in the material front before we tie it all together. Eight of Wands, some messages aren't coming in at the moment. And this is what I was sort of saying. If you stand within your power, know your worth, you should get good news coming in about uh, about work and, and, and stuff like that. Um, and work, you should get good news about work, about what's coming forward. Uh, and things should go into the way, go in the direction of a fair exchange with the wheel of fortune coming in because you're sitting in your power, because you're honest with yourself about it all. Yeah. So the high priest is seeing clearly, and when you when you go into your power, you suck, it it becomes obvious about what should be done and how things should be done. OK, let's just see how it goes between the um, six of pentacles and the king of pentacles. The world, a new beginning, the end of a cycle. So, yeah, I think it is a case of um, regardless of what job you do or regardless of what business you've got. I think it's a case of knowing your your worth and initiating that change initiating that change um, for the better, for the better for you, for the better of, um, uh, of your, your family or your, 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 your couple or your friends or even just the world around you. It doesn't matter what work you're working in. If, if it doesn't, if it's not a fair exchange going on there, then things should be, things should be said and, and, and put out there. Let's see how it's playing into that nine of cups. 
Because the universe or life itself is what you put in, and I've seen your last several readings here, what you've been putting into life, you should be getting something back. And yeah, so it is a case of nurturing it. So bringing in those ideas, bringing in those gifts from the universe and nurturing it so they can grow within your couple. Yeah, and this is pretty much what we said here. So we're sort of like exploring and planting up things, experimenting. Yeah, planting things, going to a restaurant, asking your neighbor, you know your partner if they want to go ice skating. Ooh, who knows? Um, and that's going to nurture your relationship and nurture your your ex or your your fun or your exchange that you have with the outside world. Yeah. Okay, so what we got up here is King and Queen of Pentacles. Divine counterparts, which is quite nice. Um, it could be a case of that you work with your partner or uh, or you've got a business, you know, you've got a business together. Or you might be meeting someone at your work, but that might be how you met them. But there is a definite divine counterpart. And you may be toying with that idea of starting your own business by the looks of things as well. You know, so, yeah, it's her sitting in her power, but her sitting in the power, he's built upon, the King of Pentacles is built upon knowledge of what he's uh, explored and understand, understood with those uh, books in the background. And it's all to do with community and how it better provides for the world around them and etc. The Queen of Pentacles she is the understanding of the natural world. So she's sitting at the uh, base of the tree of knowledge. She's got a lovely rice smile on her face. Uh, and she knows uh, her worth in regards to the universe, in regards to the world that is around her. And uh, so sitting within your power and sitting within how you do things is definitely going to pay off dividends for you within your workplace. But it looks like it's going to also affect your couple. So it could be a case that you might be buying a place. You never know. Or, you know, something, something of those sort of lines. Let's just see how it runs up through you. Uh, so, yeah, this is it a little bit. So marrying the body, mind and spirit. So marrying the physical and the material world. Uh, the material and the spiritual world. This is where you might be feeling a little bit trapped, you know, uh, uh, Aquarius. You might be feeling a little bit trapped. And those solar energies and those solar flares that have been going off that we've been talking about on Cymatic TV uh, and also doing the readings on according to the vibrations coming from the sun, they may have been, you know, pushing that fire side of you uh, a little bit too much and you may have painted yourself into a corner. It's going to take a leap of faith. These two cards here, the Nine of Cups and the Fool, are very similar. Uh, it's the universe is offering you opportunities to take a leap of faith. This could be a new job, a change of job, um, a job that's going to provide you with um, a fair exchange between you and the world around you. Yeah. Let's just have a quick look, see what's going on, uh, how this is all going to be leading out. Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you're doing on the, and that's coming in, reflecting there as, as well, which may give you a little bit of a headache, but there's something you definitely need to walk away from, which is where you're feeling trapped. And using those ideas on your on your spiritual side uh, in order to help you to walk away from things that are making you feel trapped. It's deciding what to spend your time and energy on, uh, on the spiritual sort of fun. But it's definitely marrying the both sides, which is going to be important. Getting a bit of structure in how you work, maybe not working too late, etc. Maybe that's causing problems. So there you go, Aquarius. I hope you did uh, enjoy that. Look out for um, the um, the readings that we're going to be doing according to the equinox 
for the next three months. That'll be coming out this week. So you're going to need to subscribe and click that bell in order to see that. OK, we do do I do do personal readings. Uh, so does Tanya do personal readings. If you want a personal reading, there is a link in the description below. There's also our Instagram where we do a lot of stuff during the week. So in the meantime, Aquarius, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.